This is the inner cell battery that I'm using to run the Raspberry Pi. It's got a USB on one side and a USB charger on the other side. It's got a, a battery power indicator. This one's actually been used for a while so it's almost dead. Still got half a battery in there. Um, I'm going to use it to uh, start the Raspberry Pi from battery power and this is the Wi-Fi radio. It's attached to a speaker setup that's actually a really nice one. Um, but this is just a demo of how it starts up. Okay, after I plug it in, you can turn it on or off. Um, so after I turn it on, it basically boots the Raspberry Pi. It's actually got a volume control, so as soon as it gets into um, the MPC, it, uh, it will start playing the songs. And that's just it turning on the, the Wi-Fi thing after it boots up, establishing a connection. I think at a certain point I'll have music. Not yet, though. Okay, so you can, you can hear it flipping through the different stations. Essentially, it's adding a list of streams to the music library for MPC, and as it adds one in, it kind of hits it for two seconds just to uh, buffer the, the serial transmission. And uh, this is the station I actually like, which is like the BBC... Um, NPR that's just straight news. It doesn't do any other stuff other than like hardcore news and it's not like local to Charlotte so it's really really it's really good for political stuff. But um, that's the only thing that's plugged in. It's plugged in. The, it's got a headphone jack plugged into the back of this and this thing is actually battery powered on its own just so that it just has the audio out coming from the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi is hooked up to the uh, the Pi cobbler thing from Adafruit and I've wired in two buttons and uh, a little kind of uh, PCB I made out of protoboard um, and they're wired into um, the, the, the cobbler and I've got two buttons on here and uh, when I press one of the buttons it flips through the stations that I have uh, loaded on the list. I picked out a list of like 25 stations that I liked and I put them in there and I can flip through flip through to the other stations and there's like reggae stations and and there's comedy stations and and rock and news and just a bunch of stations that that I find interesting um, so that's it running completely on battery power um, it's got the little Wi-Fi Nano and actually this other USB is um, the keyboard setup that I have here the keyboard is actually only good when you have a uh, you know, an HDMI monitor plugged into it, but if I have one plugged in, this thing runs like a regular mouse and, and keyboard setup, like from a laptop, but it's got a keypad kind of like texting, so if I need to, I can. But even better than that is on my phone, I have uh, an SSH client, so I can, S as long as I'm on the same network, my phone and the Wi Fi um, Raspberry Pi radio thing. As long as we're on the same network, I can hit it over SSH, and I can add streams to that list, too. And then when I'm flipping through the buttons, those new stations are in my stream. But there's like a rockabilly, so a couple of rap stations. I mean, it sounds decent. It's not, not all the stations are like extremely high quality streams, but um, you find streams that you like, and you uh, you put them in, and it's a great little like office radio setup because you can actually hit it from your computer too and add stations to the list that way, and you can just look up cool uh, radio streams, and all the instructions for are how to do that are on my blog. So check it out.